P-jumps and auto-scroll are definitely not a good idea, especially when you can hardly see the third P-switch you have to land on. The main thing that made this stage really frustrating though was the final P-jump in this section. It's the one here. It's so difficult to make that jump. The only way I could complete this stage was by jumping backwards a little bit at the start, and somehow it made that jump a bit easier. I don't really understand why though, but there wasn't really anything else of interest in this stage. That was the entire stage. Managed to complete it, but it was frustrating and simply not a good idea for a level. Anyway, that's the stage completed. Let's find some more frustrating levels to play. I'm sure that won't take long. You are supposed to jump on the balls and bounce on the boss. I think we've all seen enough of this though. Lovely naked pipe, may I add. Things are about to get a whole lot worse, so be warned and watch at your own risk. The idea behind this level was to basically bounce off the spring to get to the next one. You had to do a very precise jump though to land on the end of the ground, then somehow bounce up from there. Yes, it's as frustrating as it looks. As well as that, you have a reduced timer. Yeah, I absolutely hated this stage for obvious reasons. I did start to get somewhere eventually though, but it is really frustrating. Trying to get to the next level just seems like it relies on luck more than skill. Ran out of time on this attempt. This was my best attempt at the stage. I still didn't get very far though. One thing you do have to do is hold up when you drop down to the next section. If you don't do that, then you won't grab the vine and you will fall down to your death. A nice addition to make the stage even more frustrating than it already is. Another very annoying level idea, the stage pretty much just kills you right at the start. Unfortunately, I also ran out of lives on this stage, getting my first game over screen. I went back to the stage afterwards, then decided to change the tags, just to be annoying to the person who made this pile of Even though this level wasn't necessarily bad, I thought it could well be a contender for a very frustrating level. Absolutely tons of enemies all over the place while rotten mushrooms follow you around as well. 
However, the level had a secret. A dev route over the top of the level. I can't really say this was frustrating for that reason even though I have included it in the video. I did get first clear but with that dev route it definitely didn't deserve my like. I don't even want to talk about this absolute piece of trash. It did lead to my second game over screen as well, which was rather frustrating. I did go back to beat this stage afterwards. It was more luck than anything though, if I'm being honest. I'm so done with this trash. Let me find you all something decent to watch instead. This was the best level I found during my time on Endless Expert. This has a really cool mechanic with the on-off blocks so they change as you run through. This is also the final level I will be featuring in this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video. And thanks for watching.